ويستك ويسقط الاستقبال the facing of the qibla will drop عن المحارب في الصلاة الخوفي it will drop from the individual in these places one في في صلاة الخوفي in the صلاة of fear one والقتالي second is the fighting the battle What's the difference between the two? Khawf is when the army are moving to somewhere and they're lying, they're scared of a lion. Ha. Huh? They're not fighting no one, but they're scared of the road. Meaning animals that are lethal or anything. That salah is called salatul khawf. Does it have to be the army that they're scared of? It doesn't be, have to be. It's fear that they're scared of. This salah is prayed what? You don't face the qibla. The qibla is not, it's, it drops from your shoulders. They pray whatever they want. Walqital is shadidi. And when the fighting is severe, the armies are face to face, they're looking at one another. Naam. The people are what? No, this is the first one, sorry. Both of them are the first one. But those two prayers are different. The first one. Wa'anil <clears throat> ajizi. And the person who's what? Unable to do it. Such as who? Kalmaridi, like the ill one. How can he not do it? He has nobody to face him towards the qibla. He can't move alone. He's sick. He can't get out of bed. And there's no one who can take him. Or the doctor, he's in a coma. Or the doctor, he's not in full coma, but he's, part, he's got a broken spine. He cannot move from his position. He prays towards wherever he is put towards. That's the second. Third. أو من كان في السفينة أو السيارة أو الطائرة إذا خشى خروج الوقت. A person who is on a what? He is on a boat, or he's on a car, or he's on a plane. إذا خشى خروج الوقت. When he fears the exiting of time. Ah, he's scared that the time might go. Now, this is a matter I need to explain quickly. If a person's on a bus, and the bus can stop, can you use this? No. Get off. If you're driving the car, you can pull over and pray. But the person, he can't stop because, he, or he's in a car where it can't be stopped. Or he's on a train, or he's on a, a boat, it won't stop. And he fears that the time may exit, and this is what's meant by fear of the time. If it's Duhur, you can always delay it and pray at the time of Asr. So that's you can't pray that one on the boat. You're listening? But it's the one that's Asr. You fear it leaving, it's the time Maghrib comes in, it's gonna go. So this salah, what do you do? You pray even if it's facing away from the Qibla. The same is what? Maghrib. Can you pray it? No, you can't pray it. You have to face the Qibla because you can delay Maghrib to Isha. You have Jam'u Ta'khir. The combining of delaying. You combine and you delay it. You're permitted. It's allowed for you to push Maghrib to Isha time. You have that choice. At this point, you can't pray the Salah on, without facing the Qibla. You have to fear the time exiting. And now you don't fear the time exiting. But if it's Isha and it reaches huh, the, the last third of the night, Thuluthul Layl, uh, so before it reaches Thuluthul Layl, sorry, you are forced to pray because the Salah time is finished. Isha is going to finish now. So what do you do? You can't delay it. So if you're on the riding beast, or uh, sorry, you're on the car, or on your, then you can face without, you don't have to face the Qibla. So this is what's meant by a boat. وعمن, and the fourth which is وَعَمَّنْ كَانَ يُصَلِّي نَافِلَةً أَوْ وِتْرًا وَهُوَ يَسِيرُ رَاكِبًا دَابَةً أَوْ غَيْرَهَا The fourth one is a person who prays where? Who's praying a highly recommended prayer which is what? نافلة Highly recommended prayer or he's playing a witter and he's on his riding beast a riding beast or other than that he's driving 
وَيُسْتَحَبُّ لَهُ That person, he can pray away from the Qibla. If he's on his riding beast. And the hadith for that is the hadith of Anis ibn Malik, Sunnah Abi Dawood. The person, he prays the salah, and the salah is what? It's nafilah. It's not wajib. It's like Qiyamul Layl, for instance. And you're traveling. You're driving. Pray. Pray. Why stop for? You don't have to face the Qibla. Um, لكن الشافعية أن حنابلة they say three times he has to face the Qibla. عند تكبيرة الإحرام when he says Allahu Akbar. He enters the Salah. He has to say Allahu Akbar by facing the Qibla. Because the Prophet did that. عليه الصلاة والسلام. He would before the نافلة he would face towards the Qibla. Once he prays, it says Allahu Akbar, then the riding beast will go wherever he, wherever it went. Second, which is they said is عند الركوع. When you're doing ruku', you have to face the Qibla again. But this is the person who's walking and he's a traveler. The person's walking on the street. They said if he's on a riding beast, of course, all of that he can spend on what? Except takbirat al haram. Remember this, brothers. Sunnah. Do you have to pray towards the Qibla? No, it's not mandatory. It is highly recommended. It's good that you should pray towards the Qibla. But you don't have to. Drive your car, keep going. Pray whilst you're driving. Or you're on a ship. Sit where you are and do what you're doing. You're on your riding beast. Pray even if it's not facing towards the Qibla. The scholar is disputed. What about if the person's walking? He's traveling, but he's walking. He's going to some place. He's on the pavement. Ha. And he wants to pray his sunnah. Fuha came in. Or he wants to pray Qiyamul Layl. It's night time. He's walking. What does he do? Shafi'i and Hanabila, they said three things he has to do. Takbira, he has to face the Qibla. And the takbirat al when he says Allahu Akbar. When he does the ruku' and when he does the sujood. Other than that, when he's doing tahiyyat, when he's doing taslim, when he's doing uh, uh, the siqiyam from the ruku' all of that, he can do it on the road as he's walking. This has to face the Qibla. That's when he's walking, they said. But what about if he's on his car? On his riding beast, what does he have to do? Does he can he not face the qibla at all? The Shafi'i and the Hanabila said it is mandatory. Khastan Shafi'iya, they said it is mandatory that the person has to face the qibla even when he's driving or he's in his riding beast. If it's sunnah, in the takbir al ihram when he wants when he connects the salah, when he prays the salah, he goes Allahu Akbar. So he prays, he, he connects the salah, and he goes, he goes Allahu Akbar. That is mandatory. They said. So he mentioned that. He, what, now he's telling us that it's highly recommended, even, even it's, that it's recommended and it, sh it should be done if the person, if the person has, um, uh, if he's praying sunnah, it's highly recommended that if the person could face the qibla. Better. Why would he leave it off? Why you stahabu and it's recommended. Ida amkana if he's able and yes taqbila that he faces bihal qiblata that he faces towards the qibla. Inda takbira til ihram. This is Sheikh Ibn Albani's view. He sees that that it is recommended that the person face towards the qibla when they do takbira til ihram, according to him. But as I said, the Shafi'iya and the Hanabila, they go against him. Kitab al Bayan fi Madhab al Imam al Shafi'i by al Imrani, Yahya al Imrani. I like his call, which is Mufassal. It's very good, mashallah. He mentions the call and he goes into it. After he does the takbir of haram, it's recommended. Then he faces wherever he wants after that. And it's also mandatory on any every person. Anyone who is able to see the Kaaba and yastaqbila aynaha that he, if the person can see the Kaaba, he has to face the Kaaba, the, the stone itself. He can see it. Anyone who is not in the Kaaba, he only has to face towards the direction where the Kaaba is. It's sufficient that he face towards where the Kaaba is. He might not be, his facing may not be directly to the stone, but it's the direction to where it's located, that's not a problem. But if he's there, he has to face directly at it. He mentions that رحمه الله تعالى. حكم الصلاة إلى غير الكعبة خطأ. A person praying towards the Kaaba by mistake. He's done ijtihad, 
strived and he realized that where he was praying to wasn't the Qibla. وَإِنْ صَلَّى إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ الْقِبْلَةِ If the person prays towards other than the Qibla, لِغَيْمٍ Because it's cloudy. People used to tell from the stars where the Qibla was directed. Because of the cloud, he's unable to know what? The Qibla. He couldn't know. Or oh, 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 other than that, بَعْدَ الْإِجْتِهَادِ But after he strived, وَالتَّحَرِّي Again, he strived. جَازَتْ صَلَاةُ Salah will be accepted. وَلَا إِعَادَةَ عَلَيْهِ And there's no, he doesn't have to bring back that Salah. If he tried hard and he strived, and he found out later that he prayed towards other than the Qibla, he won't be held account for it. He doesn't have to bring that Salah back. And he doesn't have to come back with that prayer. وَإِذَا جَاءَ And if he comes to him while he's praying, مَنْ يَثِقُ بِهِ A person who he trusts, وَهُوَ يُصَلِّي And he is praying. فَأَخْبَرَهُ And that person tells him, بِجِهَتِهَا The direction of the Kaaba. فَعَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُبَادِرْ إِلَى اسْتِقْبَالِهَا He should hasten towards following that person who directed him. وَصَلَاتُهُ صَحِيحَةٌ And his salah is correct. So you are praying, and a person comes, and they say to you, Brother, face or opposite direction. Ha. And you turn the opposite direction. What about the two rak'ahs that you just prayed before that? What's the ruling for us? It is no problem. Rather, if you pray, and by the qadr, you think to yourself, you know what? You start, you, you're praying isha. So you say, Allahu Akbar. And when you started the salah, you said, this is the qibla. And then in the salah, you said, no, it's not. And you turned away. And then the second, second third rak'ah, you said another place. And then fourth, every rak'ah, you prays towards a direction. Then your salah is correct. And you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to stay in the place after, even in the salah, if you think that it's opposite to where you, where, where you are. So in the first rak'ah, he believes that he's wrong. He's not allowed to carry that salah on. He has to go move to the direction he thinks. And then the th second rak'ah, he says, no, it's not right. So the third rak'ah, he pushes himself to another place. Four rak'ah, he prays towards four, four directions. He has to do that. Rather, the fuqaha mentioned, if four brothers come together, everyone believes that this is the qibla, they're not allowed to pray with each other. Everyone has to pray towards his own qibla. Because you, are, you have to follow your own view of what you think of the matter. How can you follow, pray towards the qibla which you're not sure about? Ah, you've done a mistake. Ah, so you shouldn't. You think the qibla is there? Follow your qibla. He thinks his qibla is there? He should follow his view. Because this is what the call of the shaykh is, is what? بعد الاجتهاد After striving. والتحري. I'm sure my one's right. How can you pray towards a wrong place where you believe is wrong? Can you pray towards somewhere you think is wrong? No, you can't. And he can't do the same because he thinks you're wrong. And the other thinks the other one is wrong. And all four of you are together. Each one prays towards the direction he thinks is right. All of them pray alone. Naam. Wa salatuhu sahiha. And the salah is correct. We're in the second chapter. Which is al qiyamu standing in the salah. Wa yajibu the sheikh said is mandatory alayhi on the one who's praying. An yusalliya qaima. It is mandatory upon the person who is praying that he pray standing up. Wa huwa ruknun and it's a pillar. So praying standing up is what? It's a pillar. And we studied what a pillar meant last lesson. It's something that is inside the action. So standing up is mandatory. It's a pillar. Okay? Uh, on the person who is praying. Illa ala, except on the person. And he will mention the exceptions. Al musalli salat al khawfi. One. The one that is praying a prayer of fear. And we mentioned last lesson what salat al khawfi means. It's not the salah of fighting. No. There's a difference between the two. Salat al khawfi, if it's, it's, if it, is, it, it is if the person is scared. It doesn't have to be in a fight. It doesn't have to be. It's when a person is scared and the fear is present. Then this salah, the person, the ruqniyyah, the pillar of standing, will now be uplifted from him. Wal qital al shadid. And also the fighting which is severe. The fighting which is severe. All these times, the person, what is he allowed to do? He can pray whilst on his riding beast. Abu Mujahid's fighting in the middle of the fight. He's allowed to fight whilst he's on his tank. Ah. Or while he's 
on his plane or why beast whatever he's using he's allowed to pray his salah wa huwa raqib whilst he is riding so that's the first one uh, sorry that's the first two salat al khawfi the fight of salah of fear wal qital and the salah of fighting the armies have met one another you're in the middle of the fighting the mist of fighting at this particular moment and the fighting is very severe head in head and you know the salah has come in and it's about to leave so you pray in what you pray on whatever you're riding if you have a horse and you're fighting with a horse you pray whilst you're on your horse so the pillar of standing has now been uplifted from you the same as if that you if you're on a, a car or anything that's used the third one which is well maridi the sick one al ajiz that is unable anil qiyami to stand up he can be unable to stand up by way of phys- he, he can't stand up anymore his abilities goes he can't stand or a doctor told him that it will cause him a severe difficulties or it cause him a very severe harm then this individual the standing will then be uplifted from him so he's in a very critical situation he's unable to stand up also it's uplifted from him he doesn't have to stand up for your salia what is this person who's unable so he mentioned the person who's in the salatul khawf and he also mentioned the person who's in a qital which is shadid a severe fight he mentioned what they where they their riding beast but what about the person who is sick the sheikh said for you salia jalis and he prays sitting down in istata'a if he's able even the sitting is when he can't stand when he can't stand what does he do he sit down he sits down if he cannot pray standing up a sick person what does he do he sits down you see for you salia jalis in istata'a but what about if he's unable to sit down then he lies down wa illa fa'ala jambin and if he's unable to sit down he moves on to the third which is um, so the first was standing up the second was sitting down and the third which is what on the line on the side so he moves on to that they they're in that order if the person is unable to stand he can't say i'm going to lie down ha ah. he has to sit down first he said i can't do sitting as well in a, in a critical situation good lie down then and this is of course the hadith of imran ibn husayn the prophet says salli qa'iman فَإِن لَمْ تَسْتَطِعْ فَقَاعِدًا Sit, pray, standing up. And he said, if you, the Prophet said, if you're unable, then sit down. And if you're unable, what? فَصَلِّ عَلَى الْجَنْبِ Pray on the side. Pray on what? The side. Also, so we said the, the person who fears. He also said the person who's in a severe fight. We said the third, which is the person who's sick and ill. And the fourth, which is وَالْمُتَنَفِّلِ The person who's praying a, a, a nafl. A salah that isn't, isn't mandatory. The salah that he is praying is a highly recommended prayer. Sunnah. He is praying a what? A sunnah. The salah isn't the five daily prayers. It isn't Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, or Fajr. It ain't the five daily prayers which are mandatory. It's other than that. That individual, what does he do? He's mutanaffil. He's just praying extra salahs. فَلَهُ أَن يُصَلِّ رَاكِبًا That individual, he can pray whilst on his car, on his riding beast, on his car, whatever. Oh, qa'idan, or if you can sit down. Ha, ah, the person can just sit down on a chair and just pray. Insha'a, all of it goes back to his will. Insha'a, it goes back to his will. Wayarka, and how, the Sheikh is now going to tell us how to pray that. Sheikh says, Wayarka'u, he does ruku' Wayasjudu, and he does prostration. Sujud, ima'an bi'ra'sihi. He does the sujood, the ruku' and the sujood with his head if he's sitting down. He does it like this. He's in the salah, he's in the sujood. And so he's sitting down in it. He's sitting down. What does he do? He wants to do ruku' and he's sitting. He doesn't have to stand up because it's for him it's permissible to sit down. So he does it like this. Just does it with his head, puts his head down. Sheikh is going to tell us the difference between the two. Like him. Ha. One is very lower than the other. So he does the ruku' like this, and the sujood is even lower, he goes even down. All of that is while he's sitting. So this person isn't standing, he's praying. Of course, when he's sitting standing, when he's sitting down, he's praying, he does his fatiha, he does his surah after that, and he's done that. Now he comes to ruku', what does he do? He goes, Allahu Akbar, sitting down. 
He does this. The second, he just, then he comes up again. He says, Allahu liman hamida. Now he wants to go to sujood. He goes, Allahu Akbar. More, more down than the ruku'ah. Because the ruku'ah and the sujood, which was even more down. So the way you show it, the sujood should be even more down نعم, than the ruku'ah. We're going to check the mention to us. وَكَذَا الْمَرِيضَ and also the sick person. وَيَجْعَلُ سُجُودَهُ He makes his sujood أَخْفَضَ مِنْ رُقُوعِهِ He makes his sujood more lower than his ruku'ah. The Sheikh doesn't mention it. He mentions the other book. What's the answer? The person places his hands on his thighs. He puts his hands on his thighs whilst he does those uh, movements. نعم. Look at this common practice that people now do. Sheikh is going to pray, but the people from a common practice that which they do, which is, وَلَا يَجُوزُ It is not permissible. لِلْمُصَلِّي The one that is praying. جَالِسًا While sitting down. It is not permissible for the sitting one. أَنْ يَضْعَ شَيْئًا That he places something عَلَى الْأَرْضِ On the earth. مَرْفُوعًا يَسْجُدُ عَلَيْهِ That he uplifts it high. He puts an object on the ground, and the object is very far from the ground, so he wants to do sujood on the object. So he basically wants to bring the earth closer to himself. Ha. So he'll ask a person, get me a get me ten pillows. So for example. Or get me a stool. Ha. And then what he does is he does the sujood on that. Making that look like as though that's what? That's the ground. Sheikh said, Wala ya juzu, it is not permissible. Lil Musalli, the one that is praying. And yadda shay and to place something. Alal ardi on the earth. Marfu ayas judu ali. That he puts it up. So he could do sujood on it. وَإِنَّمَا يَجْعَلُ سُجُودَهُ But rather he makes his sujood أَخْفَضَ مِنْ رُكُوعِهِ He just saw, he uses his head by going even more down with his sujood. كَمَا ذَكَرْنَا As we've mentioned, the Sheikh said. إِذَا كَانَ That is if لَا يَسْتَطِيعُ He's unable أَنْ يُبَاشِرَ الْأَرْضَ بِجَبْهَتِهِ That is if he's unable to put his forehead on the ground. That is if he's unable to put his head on the ground. The chapter of standing up has been has been finished on there. The Sheikh now moves on to As-Salatu fi safinati wa ta'ira. The Salah on the boat or the ship. Wa ta'ira and a plane. The uh, Sheikh is going to talk about that. The ruling and the matters regarding it. Wa tajuzu and it's permissible. Salatu al-faridati. It is permissible. So with Salatu fi safinati wa ta'ira. The salah on a boat or a ship and a plane. وَتَجُوزُ It is permissible. Salatu, salatu الْفَرِيضَةِ It is permissible for the mandatory prayer في السفينة to be prayed on a boat or a ship. وَكَذَا الطَّائِرَةِ And also the, a plane. So now the Sheikh, the first thing you need to know is that it's permissible and it's allowed to pray a mandatory prayer on a boat or a plane. One. Keep that there. Also, وَلَهُ And it's for that person who's praying. أَنْ يُصَلِّيَ It is, he's entitled to. أَنْ يُصَلِّيَ To pray. فِيهِمَا قَاعِدًا If he wants, he can pray it sitting down. On the plane. Or on the ship. With the condition. إِذَا خَشِيَ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ السُّقُوطَ That is, if he fears that he may fall on the plane. He may fall on the ship. The ship is, is on a, it's going it's fast, it's moving around. So he thinks that the plane, when it moves around, he may trip over, he may slide on the ground, he may harm, he's scared. You see, that individual, he's entitled to pray in his seat. If he fears what? If he fears that he may fall. If he fears that he may fall. Walahu and it's for, and you salia for him to pray. فيهما أي في السفينة والطائرة. It is permissible for him to pray in the on the ship, on the ship and on the plane. قاعدا while sitting down. إذا خش يبو with the condition if he fears على نفسه for himself السقوط that he may fall, that something may happen to him. Three. The third thing you need to know about it is what. ويجوز and it's permissible أن يعتمد for him to hold and lean on. في قيامه whilst he is standing على عمود on a pillar it is permissible for that person on the boat or on the ship whilst he is praying 
he's allowed to lean on the wall or a whatever an object lean on it or asa or even a stick likibari simihi because of his old age or dafi badani or he's weak a person is allowed and he's permitted to lean on a pillar or a wall or an object like a stick or um or a pillar why because of his old age he's very old balancing himself is very hard for him so he doesn't fear that he may fall necessarily but he's he's a very old person anyways so he's going to keep walking moving sideways all day or he's a weak person that is permissible for him to lean on something aw dafi badanihi this is not only in the plane or the ship as well the person is like that can do elsewhere as well